Welcome to the top 10 signs of fatty liver disease. We'll be talking about all the signs and symptoms you need to look out for and sharing some helpful tips on how to deal with this health problem. Fatty liver disease is a pretty common issue that affects millions of people across the globe. Dealing with this condition can be a real pain as the symptoms can be pretty sneaky and hard to spot. This means it's easy to miss the warning signs and let the problem get worse over time. And that's not a good thing. Basically, what happens with fatty liver disease is that your liver cells start to store up too much fat. Your liver is supposed to filter out toxins and break down fats in your body. But when it gets clogged up, it can lead to all kinds of issues. There are a bunch of things that can cause fatty liver disease, like being overweight, having high cholesterol, or drinking too much booze. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD, is now one of the most common liver diseases out there? Yikes. With around 25% of the world's population affected, it's definitely something to keep an eye out for. That's why it's super important to know the early warning signs of fatty liver disease. That way you can start taking action before things get really bad and run into complications, such as cirrhosis or liver cancer, so we'll get right into it. Let's start with number 10, pain in the abdominal area. Okay, let's talk about abdominal pain. It's a total bummer and definitely not something you want to brush off. It could be a telltale sign that you're dealing with fatty liver disease. Abdominal pain is a typical indicator of fatty liver disease caused by inflammation. In other words, it makes the liver swell and press against other organs. You'll often feel it in the upper right part of your belly, and in terms of pain, it can be anywhere from uncomfortable to unbearable. Research shows that abdominal pain is a fairly typical symptom in folks with NAFLD. One study featured in the Journal of Clinical Gastroenterology revealed that 42% of people with NAFLD had abdominal pain. And get this, another study in the Journal of Hepatology showed that the more severe someone's NAFLD was, the more likely they were to have abdominal pain. But here's the silver lining. You can usually turn fatty liver disease around by making some lifestyle changes, like managing your weight better, eating healthy, and getting some exercise. And if you're feeling abdominal pain or any other signs of fatty liver disease, make sure to talk to a doctor who can help you figure out the best treatment plan. Number nine, jaundice or yellowish complexion. If you notice your skin turning yellow or the whites of your eyes looking a bit yellowish, it could be a sign of fatty liver disease. This happens when there's too much bilirubin in your blood because your liver isn't doing its job properly. Bilirubin is what's left after your red blood cells break down. Usually, your liver takes care of processing bilirubin and getting rid of it. But when your liver is damaged, it can't do that as well. And when this byproduct starts to accumulate in your blood, it gives you a yellow complexion. So, jaundice is a common sign of fatty liver disease, according to a study published in the Journal of Clinical and Translational Hepatology. The thing to remember, however, is that not everyone with fatty liver disease has symptoms. Some people only find out they have it when they get a routine blood test or scan. That's why it's important to get regular checkups to rule out any issues like fatty liver disease to prevent it from getting worse down the road. Number eight, swelling in the legs and feet. Swelling in your legs and feet, also known as edema, can be a sign of fatty liver disease. It happens when your liver is not functioning properly and there's extra pressure in the blood vessels around it. This can be really uncomfortable and make it hard to move around. Studies have found that edema is quite common in people with advanced liver disease like cirrhosis, affecting up to 50% of individuals. But it's important to remember that swelling can also be a symptom of other conditions, like heart or kidney problems. So it's always a good idea to chat with a physician to figure out the underlying cause of your symptoms. Of course, eating a healthy diet can be really helpful, especially in the early stages of the disease. Your doctor may also prescribe medication to help with symptoms like edema, so don't hesitate to reach out and get the help you need. Number seven, spider veins. 
Most people aren't aware that the liver is also responsible for filtering out hormones like estrogen. And when it's in bad shape, it can't do this job properly, which means that you could end up with too much estrogen in your system. Studies have found that having higher estrogen levels because of liver damage can cause a bunch of symptoms, such as spider veins. They're little veins that show up on your skin, usually on your legs, face, and trunk. One study published in the Journal of Cutaneous and Aesthetic Surgery found that liver disease, like NAFLD, can play a role in spider vein formation. And that's not all. When your veins are weakened by all that extra estrogen, you could also develop varicose veins. These are swollen and twisted veins, which can be pretty uncomfortable and painful. It turns out that people with liver disease are more likely to have varicose veins, and some studies say that up to 30% of people with cirrhosis get them. Okay, let's move on to the other signs on our list. Number six, feeling queasy or nauseous. Nausea is another sign that you might have fatty liver disease. It's that uncomfortable feeling in your tummy that often comes right before throwing up. We're not entirely sure why it happens in people with fatty liver disease, but it's thought to do with the liver, not being able to filter out toxins in the bloodstream properly. A study published in the Journal of Clinical and Experimental Hepatology found that nausea was a common symptom in people with NAFLD. And the worse your liver disease is, the worse your nausea can get. Nausea can really get in the way of your daily life and can even cause dehydration, which can make your fatty liver symptoms worse. If you're experiencing nausea or any other symptoms of fatty liver disease, make sure to see a specialist who can point you in the right direction. We're halfway through our list of the signs of fatty liver disease. If you're finding this information helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be the first to watch our newest videos. Number five, constant itchiness. Feeling itchy is another symptom that often comes with fatty liver disease. It's not entirely clear why people with liver disease may feel itchy, but some experts believe it's because of toxins that build up in the body and can't be cleared out by a faulty liver. A study published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology found that a condition called pruritus, which is characterized by constant itching, is a common symptom in people with fatty liver disease. The study suggests that the itching gets worse as the liver disease progresses. And itching isn't just a matter of discomfort, it can even cause skin damage and infection if you scratch too much. If you're experiencing itching or other symptoms of fatty liver disease, it's important to talk to a healthcare provider who can help you make a plan to feel better. Apart from making positive lifestyle changes, there are medications such as ursodeoxycholic acid, or UDCA, and rifampicin, which can help treat this symptom related to fatty liver disease. But like we said, it's important to discuss this with your doctor before anything else. Number four, confusion. Fatty liver disease is a growing concern in the medical community as it can lead to severe liver damage and even death if left untreated. One of the most severe forms of fatty liver disease is cirrhosis, which is characterized by scarring of the liver tissue that impairs its function. Unfortunately, confusion is a common symptom in individuals with advanced cirrhosis, and it can affect up to 70% of people with this condition. The exact cause of cognitive impairment and confusion in people with cirrhosis isn't fully understood. However, it is believed to be caused by a combination of factors, like the buildup of toxins in the bloodstream, inflammation, and decreased liver function. Confusion is a serious symptom that can significantly impact a person's quality of life. It can even pose a danger to themselves and others if it impairs their ability to drive or operate heavy equipment. The good news is that fatty liver disease can often be prevented from progressing to more severe forms like cirrhosis by making simple lifestyle changes. However, in the advanced stages of this disease, taking medication or even a liver transplant may be necessary. Number three, feeling tired all the time. Fatty liver disease can make you feel super tired and drained all the time. Fatigue is a common symptom of this condition, 
But doctors aren't entirely sure what causes it. They think it's because of factors, such as the accumulation of toxins in your bloodstream, inflammation, and your liver not working as it should. According to a study in the Journal of Hepatology, fatigue is a common symptom in individuals with NAFLD. And the more advanced the liver disease is, the more tired you might feel. Feeling tired all the time can make it challenging to get through the day and can lower your quality of life. It's important to talk to a healthcare professional if you're feeling fatigued, as it can be a symptom of many other conditions. But as always, it's a good idea to take care of your liver through lifestyle changes like proper weight management, eating a cleaner diet, and avoiding processed foods. Number two, loss of focus. Did you know that difficulty concentrating is another symptom that can occur in individuals with fatty liver disease? It's true. This symptom, similar to confusion, can be caused by factors like a buildup of toxins in the bloodstream, inflammation, and diminished liver function. Recent studies have shown that individuals with NAFLD may experience difficulties with cognitive function, including memory and attention span. According to a study published in the journal Alimentary Pharmacology and Therapeutics, individuals with NAFLD had poorer cognitive function compared to healthy controls, and the degree of cognitive impairment was related to the severity of liver disease. It's important to note that difficulty concentrating can also be a symptom of other conditions, including mental health issues, such as anxiety and depression. That's why it's crucial to see a healthcare professional to determine the root cause of your symptoms. And if you have liver disease, regular physical activity, such as sports, has been shown to improve cognitive function. Take care of your liver, and it will take care of you. Number one, ribcage inflammation. Costochondritis is when the cartilage that connects your ribs to your breastbone becomes inflamed. It's not exactly a typical symptom of fatty liver disease, but if your liver is enlarged due to advanced liver disease, like cirrhosis, you might feel some pain or discomfort in your ribs. The liver is located in the upper right part of your belly, just below your rib cage. So when it gets bigger, it can put pressure on surrounding areas, including your rib cage. People with fatty liver disease may also be more likely to get costochondritis because they have chronic inflammation in their body and this can affect the cartilage connecting their ribs to their breastbone. Remember that rib pain or discomfort can be a symptom of many other conditions, such as muscle strain, pneumonia, and heart problems. And that wraps up the top 10 signs of fatty liver disease that you shouldn't ignore. Remember, it's important to pay attention to your body and recognize the signs and symptoms of fatty liver disease to maintain good liver health and overall well-being. Whether you're always exhausted, experiencing brain fog, feeling abdominal pain, or have jaundice, fatty liver disease can manifest in different ways. If you suspect that you have fatty liver disease, it's critical to seek medical attention. While healthy eating and exercise can help prevent and even reverse fatty liver disease in its early stages, further medical treatment may be necessary in advanced cases. When it comes to nutrition, taking care of your liver can be enjoyable and delicious. There are plenty of nutritious foods to enjoy, such as leafy greens, fish, nuts, and berries. Listen to what your body is telling you, take care of yourself, and always see a doctor or specialist when in doubt. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Healthy Natural Remedies for more valuable health advice and tips. Ring the bell to stay up to date on our latest content, and if this video expanded your outlook on your health and well-being, consider sending us a super thanks. Here's to your health and happiness.